to is Chemezi encroaching on your territory, shooting threes out there oh, as well? No, no, no. <laughs> That's him now. He can knock that down. So, uh, so we're going to keep pushing. How different does it change his game? I mean, you have to guard him some in practice uh, when he can step out and shoot that as well. You can't guard him. So you just got to hope he misses. <laughs> Put it that way. Chemezi, in the first half, I saw you grab your elbow looking over at Coach Enfield asking for the ball on an inbounds. What did you see on that play, and what made you? What gave you the confidence that you want to go take the ball and score? Uh, well, they had they had uh, some really strong guys, but I felt like they, they couldn't really move side from side to side. So, I mean, I basically just called a asked them to call an ISO play for me. I mean, I got it, but I, but I missed a shot. So, I mean, when, I, when any of us feel that we have a have a mismatch, coach coach kind of gives us that uh, gives us that freedom to, to uh, exploit it. Chimezi, you guys had, uh, I think, five blocks between you. What did you think of the nine blocks overall that the team had? Um, you know, that's kind of what we're hanging our hats on, uh, just defensively overall, uh, trying to steal the ball, trying to block shots at the rim. And, um, yeah, I mean, we, have, we, have, we have some pretty good really guys, long arms, so we, coaches try to, I guess, put it to use uh, on a game-to-game -game basis. What do you think of the uh, defensive energy from you guys? Um, it, it, was, it was there, but uh, I feel like there was a couple, probably a couple stuff that we that could have cleaned up a little bit. And um, you know, we, we uh, that's something that we've been really been working on uh, over the off season. So you know, something the coach, like I said, the coach wants to hang our hang our hats on defense because you know, uh, some days shots might not be falling, but we can always get out and run and uh, get some easy layups. Is the offense any different when you have Derek handling the ball instead of Jordan? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, Derek's Derek's uh, he's really fast, so you know when we kick when we kick the ball up to him, he's uh, he's already out of there. So we, I feel like when he's in the game, we're playing more in transition as opposed to. I mean, Mac Mac is Mac is fast too, but Mac Mac is uh, you know he's more surgical when, he, when he's in there. So I mean, Derek Derek he just kind of gets up there, gets in the paint a lot, and uh, he, just, uh, he makes a lot of plays for us. How different? So, what kind of specifically? Uh, just you know, a couple guys, um, just uh, making like messing up on like little things like switches and stuff like that, and us not talking and uh, transition defense. So, I mean, this team, this team was good, but uh, you know, when we get into the Pac-12, uh, you know, better teams are gonna are gonna um, take advantage of that. Both uh, Usher and O'Bannon, I think, were held scoreless on the night. What did you see out of them, and how do you think they can improve? I mean, they're just, they're just getting their feet wet. So, I mean. You know, next game, they both uh, brought great energy, and uh, you know it's not always about scoring points. So they brought great energy, and then uh, you know next game they're going to come out do it again. If they score, they score. If they don't, I'm pretty sure those those two guys, you know, all three of those freshmen, they're, they're probably the most selfless guys that we've uh, we've had on the team. And uh, you know, they, I, I, I doubt they really care if they if they were held scoreless. Did either of you guys or one of the other team leaders say something to the the younger guys before this game? Just to help them know what it would be like? Uh, I mean, we've had two scrimmages already, so I mean, there, there's nothing new to them. Um, the diff only difference was there's you know, people in the stands for this one, so they, 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 uh, they, they weren't really, it wasn't really much to tell them. Last year, you didn't have a, a seven-footer guy on the team. How much does having Victor there in practice help you guys uh, yeah, grabbing the ball down low? He's uh, you know, just you know, having to go up against him defensively, he's he like tries to block everything. He's like all over the place, with really long arms. So I mean, it's it's good having him in there because it kind of gives us a different different uh, dynamic. You know, when we go up against other teams that have a uh, you know shot blocking guys. Being ranked in the preseason at number ten for the first time since 1974, does that add any additional pressure to you guys going into this season? Ah, it feels good. It feels good knowing that our hard work paid off. Um, for the past three, four years. Um, so we're just going to go out. Rankings don't mean anything when we step out on the court. So we're just going to um, take it game by game. How different was it to play with a lead and kind of put a game away early instead of having to rally like you guys did all, all last season? Uh, it felt good. I mean, we, we at the end of the day, we want to come out with a W. But uh, uh, it, it gives us it's a little more comfort um, going out there and, and getting a lead early and keeping it. Is there a big difference in the game plan this year than there was last year? Of course, Shemazi, now you're doing some more ball handling. You have added the three-pointer to your game. You mentioned Derek when he runs the offense. It's a little bit quicker. Is there any other themes like that to look out for? Um, nah, I 
think we have the same game plan we've had over the past um, two two years since we've been here. Um, saying we want to play fast, smart, and selfish, push it, um, get a lot of dunks, open threes, and, and get stops. Any more questions?